If you want to use Chrome OS on any PC or laptop without actually buying a Chromebook, now these days we do have a couple of good options. For example, even the maker of Chrome OS, the Google, have made a Chrome OS for PC and even for Mac devices and it is called Chrome OS Flex. There are three major problems with this operating system. First, it doesn't allow you to do a multi-boot or even a dual boot. Second, it doesn't allow you to choose in which drive you want to install the Chrome OS. If you have multiple drives, you should remove all the drives except the one where you want to install the Chrome OS. Third one, probably the biggest problem. It doesn't support all the features of Chrome OS. For example, the Android apps. Yes, it's from the Google, but for some reason, you can't run Android apps in it. But that doesn't mean you can't install Chrome OS with Android app support. Yes, you can with the second option called Project Croissant. Croissant. Also known as Chrome Fi. Using this project, you can install official Chrome OS on any PC or laptop. You may have to do some research, some you know scripting. You may even have to use Linux. There are a bunch of tutorials on how to use this project to install official Chrome OS on PC. You should check them out if you're interested in this. Since this is not a official method of installing Chrome OS, even though you're installing a official Chrome OS, you may have to deal with some weird things. But the good thing is that you can do a multi-boot with maybe Windows, maybe some other operating system. Now, finally, we have reached to the third option, probably the one of the best and easiest option to install Chrome OS on any PC. It is called Fade OS and it is also based on the open source Chromium OS project, same as the official Chrome OS. One of the best things about Fade OS is that you can do multi-boot, you can choose in which drive you want to install it. It also supports Android apps, but that doesn't mean this is the perfect Chrome OS for PC because it only supports Intel's third gen above processors. If you have Intel first or second gen CPU, then it's not going to run that well. In that case, uh, Chrome OS Flex is going to be way better. Another great thing about Fade OS is that you can actually try this operating system before you actually install on a real hardware. Uh, you can download a virtual machine VMware file and try this out. So let me actually show you how this Fade OS thing works. Right now it is the Fade OS 16 and they have introduced many new features and you know uh, we'll talk about that as we go through this video if I remember anything but uh, take a look at this um, you know just normal setup page here yeah it is the version 16 Fade OS so get started looks good feels smooth I'm just gonna use a local account why not I think the dark theme looks better let's go with the dark theme just look at it I mean it just feels so smooth you know one of the best operating system in the world I think is the Chrome OS because you can literally run anything inside it you can run Android apps you can run Linux apps since you can run Linux apps in it, you can also run Windows apps in it using Wine and whatnot. Okay, I have set up the resolution. Uh, looks good. Actually, I'm going to go with the white theme since we are using a virtual machine. So, you know, some things might bug out. For example, this text continue where you left is like stuck in dark theme thingy so it's all right i mean if you install this on a actual hardware it's gonna be way better even though still it feels like you know i'm running it on a actual hardware just look at it it's so fast so let's actually run a android apps uh, we're gonna have to turn on the android sus subsystem first activate fade os android subsystem why not? I'm just going to do that, launch it. And here we have the Android system. If you don't see uh, the, you know, Google Play Store and whatnot, if you want to have that, don't worry, go to store. And uh, from here, go to made by Fade OS and then go to configure OpenG apps, install this app, add this app. And I'm going to open this app. And using this, we can just install all the Google Apps. Install it. Install. 
Okay, if you don't want to use Google Play Store, then there is the Android apps section. Here we have some Android apps that we can install. For example, I'm just gonna install this color note. And here we have the Android app. Yes, running like it feels so good, so smooth, even in virtual machine. Just look at me. This is so fast. Okay, what happened to the G apps? No, oh, it, it installed. Now we have to reboot our device to actually use the Google Apps. So let's do that. It took like a few seconds and it rebooted. Let's enter our pin. And here we have the Play Store. Wow. <laughs> My PC is actually decent and this feels so fast. Just look at it. This is just beautiful. If, if you're like the Linux user, then you can just easily set up the Linux, you know, easy peasy by opening the terminal or you can go to the, the developer settings and you can turn on the Linux development environment here. It's, it's so good. So good. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is just my opinion, personal opinion that Fair OS is the best Chrome OS operating system for PCs because it offers all the things what you know official Chrome OS offers, unlike the official Chrome OS for PC, Chrome OS Flex. Uh, I don't know why Google don't want to do that, but I don't think anytime soon Google will add Android app support to the Chrome OS Flex. So that's really sad. But for now, if you're looking for a Chrome OS for PC, you should try out the Fair OS. It's actually good. Yeah, it runs really good even in virtual machines. So yeah, it's the power of Chrome OS. Chrome OS is really good operating system, in my opinion, okay? <laughs> if I had to choose in between like uh, Linux and Chrome OS, I'll go for Chrome OS, okay? Because you can literally use Linux inside it and it is based on the Linux kernel and it's almost the same thing but Chrome OS is way easier to use. You don't necessarily need to use Linux but if you want to and you are the Linux user, you can use the Linux thingies in it. So yeah, and Android apps also. So yeah, that's it. I'm th I think I'm talking too much but that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.